It's been five years. Mayweather Pacquiao. Floyd, the money, Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, Pac-Man. It's finally gonna happen. It's gonna happen in May 2015. And it raises a number of questions, but you know, there's people complaining about the timing of the fight. So a lot of people say they should have fought sooner. And I think they should have, to be honest with you, but it's happening. It's the biggest fight that they could possibly make in boxing. And it's something that they should have made. Something that needed to happen. Now, will Floyd uh, outbox Manny? He is a little bit bigger, appears to be stronger. He is perfect. He is perfect. He's, he's never lost a fight. But both guys are pretty much in their mid to late 30s. And they haven't knocked anybody out in a while. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this. Some people claim that it's, it's an issue with age. But I just think that Floyd likes to outbox guys. Floyd likes to use his defense to show the role. He likes to get guys into the pocket. And when guys take shots at him, he's able to counter punch him. And he's basically able to shut him down. Great defensive fighter, great fighter overall. But Manny Pacquiao, he's the guy who just goes right at his opponents. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> you know, people say his uh, defense is his offense. And you know, that makes a great fight, but it also leaves him to, uh, in a situation where a lot of times he's just vulnerable to getting knocked out, <laughs> which is what happened with uh, his fight against Martez. So, you got a fighter who goes all out and doesn't pull any punches. And then you got a fighter who is brilliant defensively. Which one will win out? Well, I can't tell you for sure who's gonna win this fight. Nobody really knows. Nobody knows if, uh, if Pacquiao is gonna, with his southpaw stance, is gonna be able to turn Floyd and get him off balance and prevent him from setting his defense. Nobody knows if Floyd is gonna use that right hand uh, basically catch Pacquiao and knock him out. We don't know if this is gonna go to a decision, but I hope we don't end up with an embarrassment. Cause I've seen this too many times in boxing where it was pretty obvious that the judges will give, judges basically got the fight wrong. The fight will go to 12 rounds and they'll come out with a ridiculous decision. Like when, uh, I think when Floyd beat uh, Canelo, one of the judges actually said it was a tie. Come on. <laughs> the other two judges gave it to Floyd, but one judge said it was a tie. Give me a break. Floyd pretty much won every round. Almost every round against Carnell. And Carnell was a bigger, stronger guy. But Floyd, he had the intelligence. And he was able to outbox him. He was able to adjust and outthink, outthink his opponents. And that's his strength. Pacquiao, he just puts the pressure. You know, people talk about how he throws at least 100 punches per round. And Floyd hasn't really fought a lot of guys like that recently. I say recently because recently he's fought guys who are very good as far as brawling. Uh, even Carnell, who's a good defensive fighter. But, you know, when you, when, when, when a fighter gets used to taking on brawlers, flat-footed, slow brawlers, guys who aren't that quick on their feet, guys who aren't able to cut off the ring, it sort of hurts the fighter. Yeah, I think it, it might actually hurt Floyd because Floyd hasn't had, he hasn't had a lot of practice recently with the quicker fighters, the quicker, more capable fighters, the fighters who can get in and get out. And right now I hear that he's pretty much training with bigger fighters. He's preparing for that harder punch that Pacquiao would bring. But I think speed is gonna be the key because if Pacquiao can get in quickly and get out quickly, and it's not a matter of can Floyd handle the hit. He can take some hits, because I've seen Floyd take some hits, although his defense is great, so he doesn't have to take a lot. But if Pacquiao can get in there and get out quickly and effectively, then it's gonna completely, uh, I, think, I think it's something that could basically uh, ruin uh, Mayweather's defense. So what's gonna happen in May when Pacquiao and Mayweather fight? I don't know. I mean, I hate to say I don't know, but if I had to predict anything, I would say that Floyd is gonna have some trouble. It won't be an easy fight, but Floyd's gonna find, Floyd's gonna adapt. And that's one of the reasons why I think he's been undefeated. People say that he's been ducking Pacquiao all these years. Uh, I don't really wanna get into all that. 
I'm not really a, a hardcore Floyd Mayweather fan. Personally, I would like to see Mandy give him one hell of a fight. And I don't mind if Mandy wins. I don't mind if Floyd wins. But I want a great fight. I don't want to see another Mayweather fight. I mean, I'm sorry. I can, I can respect and, and appreciate the type of fighting he does, the type of boxing he does. Because his whole strategy is to hit and not get hit. They call it the sweet science of boxing. In any event, I hope it's a really great fight. I hope it's entertaining. It's going to be a showcase of boxing for a lot of casual fans, a lot of people who don't really watch watch boxing. And that's why I hope they have a strong undercard in case the main event turns out to be a dud. <laughs> I I really wish they could uh, put uh, Thurman under that, well, in that card, but whatever. Thurman, he had a really good fight against uh, Guerrero with the on NBC on premier boxing championships and by the way uh it was it was two really good fights adrian broner versus this uh brawler melina uh Bro broner just showed his improved defense he showed his skill and just basically picking apart his opponent thurman was absolutely incredible i would love to see more of those two guys fight but i wish we had that type of um undercard for the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. I think that will be really, really good. I think it should put on the best show that they can possibly put on and not just with the main event. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And don't forget the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Bye.